Hi, my name is Jessica Monge. I'm a mental health coach and therapist matchmaker. And today we're gonna to be talking about Single Awareness Day with my cousin, Yamie. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Yamie. I am Jessica's cousin. And as you can tell by the sweater, I am the maid of honor, which it is an honor to be the maid of honor. I am a pediatric nurse. I'm currently in grad school. I just started grad school. Currently my second semester, I like um, cycling, I like reading, I love spending time with family and friends, love being very social, um, haven't really gotten the chance to do that lately just because with school it's been so crazy. I'm a major foodie, love going out to eat and trying new spots, and I love coffee. Any single men watching, <laughs> <laughs> this is her new this Tinder account, her new Bumble. I know, when Jess <laughs> asked me to do this video, and she's like, oh, like, single, she, she texted me, I was actually in Puerto Rico doing a solo trip, and I think that's when you texted me about, she's like, oh, like, she's like, you don't have to do this, like, or you could, like, punch me in the face for even asking you to do this, <laughs> um, and it was for the single awareness video, and I was like, oh, I would, I'd be down to do this like why not but also i'm like why did she choose me <laughs> out of all people well to be fair at the time you were my only single friend okay i believe i think so also i live vicariously through amy because i hear all her dating stories <laughs> and i'm just like of course she has to be on this episode it'll be really cool she's been single um and i feel the most comfortable talking to her about it i don't feel comfortable talking about singleness in my perspective because i was only single i think two years out of my whole dating life okay. so yeah. i have really no say in my single life so that's what we're talking about. i am the me. face of singleness <laughs> for now you also have really long relationships i know so. yes i did i definitely yeah. did yeah my mm -hmm. first well my first relationship was like a high school which i feel like you know but it was also middle school to high school middle school which to, yes crazy. which is crazy it was from seventh grade to i want to say our 11th grade or like our, se senior our, se year? our senior year Something like over like the that. summer yeah. that's when it broke off and then i was single through like um all college right all, well mostly no college? mostly college yeah. and then that's when i got into my two year my yeah we almost made two years i think okay i think yeah. it was more than two years it felt like more than two years right yeah, okay yeah. something like that two years and something in some change and like i would say like that was my first official like adult relationship like very mature very like okay like this is it type of relationship so you got some questions lined up first of all what are the dating apps that you're on? And why did you decide on those apps? I had never actually done dating apps before. I always trash talk dating apps. I always thought, I'm like, whoever's on dating apps, like, are you fucking kidding me? But then I realized after my breakup and I felt like I was comfortable enough to put myself out there, I was like, wow, like, I'm actually really busy. And I was working. Um, I was going out a lot. But at the same time, I feel like whenever I go out with my friends, I am, like, not focused on looking at anybody. Mm -hmm. Now I'm aware. I'm like, okay, I need to start changing that. Like, if I actually want to, like, talk to people. But it's like I go out with friends or, or we're, like, we're hanging out. And, like, I'm not focused on, like, looking at other people. I go out with a lot of my guy friends. And then maybe i need to stop being so friendly with them in outside spaces i'm like the people probably think i'm with them yeah, yeah. even with like my gay besties because like you wouldn't think it and then you see them and then whatever the first app i downloaded was hinge i got it from one day got major anxiety <laughs> deleted it all within the same day because i'm like this is this is way too much like i like the whole thing i'm like i can't do this and gave it some time then went on bumble bumble um on there it's like the girls are the ones who swipe guys could swipe too but it's like if i like the person and they happen to like me like then they'll get it but then like the girls are the ones to reach out mm. which by the way i don't know what's happening or maybe it's always been like this but i feel like sometimes guys they become such princesses on there it's like they will put on their bio like don't just message me hey or don't ask me this or like oh, wow. don't and i'm just like are we like what what is this like Do you feel like also like if it was the other way around girls would also have that in their bios and stuff though well yes i guess so but maybe you'll like you know say something funny comment on something and then they won't comment something back or they will just like reply really dryly mm -hmm. and it's like okay i can't do this but um i got off dating apps i've been off for it for a couple of months now because i was just like this this was cute for 2023 <laughs> it was cute for 2023 um met a lot of interesting people through, through, through the dating apps um i i've always wondered i'm like i wonder if we should do like a series on my dating stories but i'm also like That'd family so watches this. oh yeah no we can't do that yeah we can't do that especially like on youtube you can't like block certain i don't think I you can know. block people yeah no we, we're not yeah. blocking people and also it's like um 
you know, I'm a healthcare professional and <laughs> one day we'll be a nurse practitioner <laughs> and I'll be taking care of your kids and <laughs> you shouldn't hear my unless, unless your stories go so viral, bro, <laughs> you make bang. <laughs> All of my dating stories, oh my god. You go on TikTok anonymously. Ano- yeah, exactly. And it's like and it's like, oh, she's the one who takes care of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> like wow yeah she's very versatile <laughs> well, so you talk about bumble do you ever try tinder i never tried tinder just because it's like everyone's like oh like if you're on tinder you're just there to fuck like that's oh, pretty no. much i okay. feel like that's what i've gotten um or at least people who've been on there so i haven't given tinder a chance um interesting yeah but like right now i feel like i don't want to go on the dating apps i definitely want to take a what's break your from goal that. for 2024 2024 is definitely to meet per- people like in person and just like speak to them rather than like through apps. I feel like on the dating app, it's just, it's much easier just because it's like, if you're busy, like now as an adult, <laughs> you, there's so many responsibilities and now especially with school, it's like, I, I'm not really going out that much. Like I'm, I'm mostly home. Um, I try to see my friends. I haven't really seen them in a long time. Try to still take care of myself. Um, it's like a whole thing, right? It, it's, it's like, like a whole self-care, thing. Self-care, work, school, family. And I know. Like, where so, do you enter yeah, dating? Yeah, and then it's like, where do you enter dating? So, so I'm like, you know what? I'm off. The, so it's easier to go on the dating apps. I totally get it. It's much more convenient. You literally could be fucking scrolling from your toilet if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> if you really wanted to, you could. Yeah, I'm um, sure people do. I'm sure, I'm people, sure do. people do. I've done it. It's it's just what you do once you're on there. And yeah. But it, it gets so, it's so crazy how you're just like, on, you could be on there just like swiping, swiping 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 and it's just like i don't know i can't but yeah so So what's your plan to meet people in real life like are you gonna go out alone to places are you gonna go with a friend with a wingman i probably would say now when i go out with friends now just like being more aware of like who's actually there because like yeah just like i like you know just seeing who's actually there and if there's someone you know if there's someone there that i do find attractive someone then i'm like okay maybe we could like Try to, like, you know, put myself out there and, like, spark a conversation, I would say. I'm sure your friends would be great wingmen, too. <laughs> they would be. Yeah. They would be. But And and I know if I was to be like, oh, my God, I find this person cute. But, like, I will literally go places and I have, like, such bad tunnel vision. I'm just, like, I'm there for this and, like, that's just what it is. Like, I yeah. really don't care to, like, look around. Yeah. And that's one of the things I realized. I was like, oh, when I go out, I'm, I'm not looking at anyone. Yeah. And then I wonder. I'm like, I wonder if no one's really looking at me either. Because it's like no one comes up to me. And I talked mm-hmm. about this with my friends and I talked about this with my guy friends friend when i go out with friends it's like a, unless i'm going out with just like my girlfriend um i'm usually there's always a guy there i feel right, like if yeah. anything so i was talking with him and, I, and then i was like oh like you know people guys didn't really come up to me i'm like I, i'm like i'm like do i look like a bitch <laughs> i'm like do i not look i'm like and he's like no you definitely look approachable he's like it's not you but i'm like people i feel like always say they're like oh like it's not you but i'm like i don't know maybe it is me because maybe nowadays people are so like scared to go up to people I, and i was you know I mean? and i was thinking that too yeah. i feel like People are, like, I don't know if, like, guys are just, there's, like, there's, like, so much out there and, and, like, um... Maybe they're just more nervous to, like, make the first move nowadays. Maybe. So it's, like, should girls Maybe they're start? fighting the patriarchy, too. They're like, feminism, you come up to me. Exa- no, exactly. Yeah. So, so which, I, which I totally get, but at the same time, it's, like, I think guys should still come up to girls and, like, spark up the conversation, but I totally get it, like, how nerve-wracking that could be to put yourself out there and, like, just to do that and, like, to get rejected and stuff. Mm-hmm. Would you do that? But I do that. Well, I want to do that, but like I'm still so scared because <laughs> I get it. Because like I told, but I, I get like their side yeah. and why it's easier to like hide behind a phone and like swipe, and it's so much easier because it's like if someone just like ghosts you on there, you're like okay, whatever. Or yeah, if someone doesn't the reply, hits less. Yeah, it's less um, than rather like you're in an open setting, which I totally get. Um, but I'm sure this still happens. A rare occasion, I guess. Yeah, and actually, I've I've been told on like um, going on dates from like these dating apps. Like guys have told me they're like they're like if I would have seen you like in a, like somewhere in a bar like he did like I probably wouldn't go up to you. Why? Like, did they say why? Yeah, and then they're, they're like no like they're, they're like no like I find you super attractive but like I'm just like I would be scared to like come up to you. That so, answers a lot of questions. So now I'm like oh maybe I'm too pretty to <laughs> don't guess her up now. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I'm <laughs> like, like oh okay. I, I, know, I, I, I know it's like oh it's you guys <laughs> and they're like no you're just a little maybe bitch. Maybe self esteem went up to here <laughs> and I was like you find me attractive. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> Choosing to stay single versus looking for a partner. Where are you at right now? Mm, I would say um, currently I'm at a place where I feel like I'm. I would be open to a relationship. I feel like I'm. Wow, I would be. Exciting. I would. I know. I would be open to like. But I'm not like. 
I'm not chasing. Like, that's not... I'm if like, it happens, it happens. If it happens, it happens. If it happens, it happens. I'm definitely not, like, putting myself out there and being like, I need to find someone. Mm-hmm. I feel like right now, at my age, just, like, also, like, speaking with friends, um, some of my single friends, like, they also feel like they're like, oh, my God, like, everyone's getting married. Everyone's getting engaged. Everyone's moving in together. And it's like, I, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's like, when is my time going to come? Um, so I definitely get that, like, some people feel that pressure yeah. of that. I definitely dream of, like, having, like, the big wedding, having the house, like, having that relationship. But I'm also not, like, like, if it happens, it happens. When and, it happens, it happens. And, and when yeah. it happens, you know, like, I'm not, like, also, like, oh, like, it's never going to happen. But um, right now, I'm definitely in a place that I'm, like, okay, like, I'm open to a relationship. I feel like I've been working on myself and just, like, different things. I feel like I would definitely bring something like good into a partnership but also keep working on myself at the beginning for i think it was been the two years adamant you were choosing to stay single besides like the obvious like you should need a break after a breakup yeah after that why did you really decide to want to stay single the reason why i definitely decided to stay single was just because it's like after the breakup i feel like i had I definitely reflected on a lot of the things and I reflected on some things that like I didn't like about myself mm. or things that I wanted to improve on. And I feel like that's like the biggest thing. After a breakup or if just if you're single, I think mm. it's very important to really like focus on yourself and be like, okay, like what are the things that I could make better about myself? Um, I feel like the, you could always, they could always be a better version of yourself. True, you know? true. And you like, were focusing on your career and school and Yes, stuff. you know, I just started like working, finally working as a nurse and I decided to like focus on things that like I had control over because I'm like, okay, like, you know what? I have control over certain hobbies. I have control over work. I have control over my social life. Those are things I have control of. So that's why I started to be more mindful with my eating, started exercising, mm-hmm. Um, started just like enjoying like my me time it's yeah, like okay yeah. like you know started cycling starting um, reading going out with friends and yeah, it's like you spending... read so much now I feel like you and I were never much readers growing we up weren't. like halfway through you um, doing your career and stuff like your first year six months in you're just banging out books I know and I'm like oh I want to bang out books too like <laughs> yeah wow. I know it's, it's like we're just I, we're, right now, whole show, and we're, like, we're looking at my books right now it's so, um it's so crazy but yeah I, I was never a reader and you know one of the things that I, I was like I pretty much shot myself I was like I was never a reader but like I feel like reading is important mm-hmm. um so I'm like I feel like it's never too late to start anything mm-hmm. to start anything so I was like you know what let me let me like like let me buy the books um the books definitely sat on the floor for a a while but finally i realized like um like what type of genre i like nice. Roma- romantic Comedies, books yeah Roma- are they comedy romance or just romance um just they're, they're romance there's oh, okay. definitely like you know like some like funny scenes in there mm. but I, I mostly read romance of course i'm a hopeless romantic i would say did i answer that choosing to stay single yeah and you were like what i think so you know you wanted to focus on yourself here's another question though with that and i think this goes with anybody whether you're in a relationship or you're single but like being okay doing things alone and like Mm -hmm. not being codependent you know because you and i struggled with that and being in a relationship it's like you don't you get so used to doing things alone so when you don't do it alone it feels like scary yes I know that was something for you, right? Yes, that was something for me. So after the breakup, one of the things I realized was I definitely had become um, very codependent with my ex, especially, like, my emotions. I feel like that was, like, the biggest struggle for me. And then, like, after the breakup, of course, you're upset. And then it's, like, three weeks later, I was starting, like, finally my job as a nurse. So it, it was just, like, a lot of emotions. At that time, I was like, you know what? Like, I could be my own cheerleader. So it's I understand, like, just being how how easy it is to just like become codependent with your partner and then one of the things that i also like never had were for for example hobbies and i never realized how important it is to have hobbies um i would say after i graduated college i had all this free time now and i didn't realize how much free time i had and i was like oh well like i really don't do much because before i was like so focused on school working and that was it and i was like oh i can really like, this is a time when you occupy with things, and I feel like it's so important because it's like, okay, like, you should have things um, that you're okay with doing by yourself. Yeah. So that was one of, like, the biggest challenges for me. It's like, you know what? I'm going to start doing things on my own. I started traveling on my own, which I would have never thought I would have done before. Because I'm like, and before I was like, oh my gosh, like, um, if you go out to eat by yourself or you, or if you go somewhere, like, people are going to judge you. Yeah, and, and you, you also felt like that's so sad that they're alone. Yeah, that's so sad that, that, yeah. they're, that they're alone and stuff. And I'm like, and I was like, oh my gosh, some people are going to think of that about me. But then I, I was like, okay, you're just reflecting your emotions on yourself because that's how I viewed it as. But mm-hmm. I was like, no, like, if you're choosing to do something by yourself also, like, that's 
that's amazing mm -hmm. and um it's also just like opened up my eyes and it's like oh wow like I could do things on my own. You shouldn't depend on anyone. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, it's great when you have a partner and they're always going to be there for you. But I think it's also good even to then, like, you shouldn't. even then, like you should be okay with like being by yourself and also. And I feel like every all at some point we need like our, our alone time. Yeah, you need and your own time. hobbies alone. That's a good thing that I wanted to touch on. Like something that I tell my students all the time is like we're adults now. And after college, we kind of, like, just do work and then nothing else besides binge TV. Yeah. But it's super important to tap into, like, what you used to like to do when you were a kid. Correct. You know? Yes. And that's, and now that's how you got into yes. cycling. and that's how I got into cycling. I did therapy maybe, like, three to four years ago. And one of the things we talked about was just, like, me struggling to, like, do things that I found. I'm, like, hobbies. I'm, like, where do I begin? Like, for example, like I said, like, I wasn't a reader. I wasn't someone who was ever active. Exercising to me was, like, oh, my gosh, no. Like, we're, I'm not doing that. Yeah, um, I, I try to get her to at least jog with me so many times. Yeah, never. I was never on it. Um, worked at a gym for two years. Never touched one of the equipments or worked for myself. <laughs> worked out for myself there at all. As soon as she asked me, um, what was some things that you enjoyed um, when you were a child? First thing that came up to me was, like, cycling. Or, um, or like being me being on a bike and if it was like in El Salvador or it was like here I'm like every time I was in a, on a bike like like I was always happy so I was like oh like you know like I used to like and she's like well she's like well why don't you buy yourself a bike and I was like you know what you're right <laughs> I think that two weeks or three weeks yeah. later I went out bought myself the bike got a um, peloton got uh, well the peloton came came afterwards so then I, I got the bike I was not really like so much doing it and then I, I started um, cycling more outside, and then, like, I slowly built myself up. I was like, oh, like, let me just go up to here. And then I was like, oh, maybe next time I could do up to here. And, like, that's how I slowly got into it. And then, like, the winter came, and it's like I was enjoying it so much. I was like, well, like, I need to find a, something, like, indoors, something, yeah. something indoors. And um, that's when I decided to get my Peloton. Love the Peloton. Peloton, if you want to sponsor this video, I love you guys. <laughs> she loves every single, what is it, cycle? Yes. Oh, my God. I, yes, What's there's that? definitely some some favorite instructors, but um, I love it. And, like, that also just became something that I just love. And then with the Peloton, like, people talk, like, they're like, oh, my gosh, the Peloton. Because, like, the instructors, they're so positive. And I love how positive they are. But they're also, like, they're so real. Like, even sometimes when they're, like, like, I don't want to be here today, and, like, you know, this exercise is going to suck, and it's like, yeah, like, that's, you know, that's... that's it's fucking, realistic. It's, it's not realistic. like that's toxic positivity. Correct. That you throw it. I yeah. feel like that's what most people gravitate to. It's it's relatable. It's super relatable. It's super relatable, and, but, like, the instructors, like, they're so good. I want to say, like, I've had such, like, um, some of them having, like, a shitty day. You go on there, you have a good ride, and, like, sometimes, like, the words are, like, just like, encouragement that these, like, instructors give you. And it's just, like, it's on a screen. It's more than just a ride. Huh? It's more than just a ride. It's, like, you're on a bike that's going nowhere, but it's taking you, like, so many places. And you're there, like, you're working out. They're saying all these great things, and it makes you think. I also want to point out how great Amy did uh, of a job with her mindset shift in terms of, like, going on and doing things alone because her mindset was... What was it? Like, that's so sad that they're alone yeah. and yada yada. But then when you shift it to like, no, it's great. I'm doing something alone, being my independence. And also some people really love being alone, you know? So you, when you're doing anything that's new, it's all about mindset shift. How do you deal with being single and maintaining your mental well-being? Which I feel like we touched upon that a lot, but we could wrap yeah. that, this up with that last question. Um, I would say the biggest thing is feeling your emotions. Being single, sometimes it just sucks. It's, it's just what it is. Sometimes you feel lonely. You may have, like, you know, family, friend support. But sometimes, like, you, you wish you had that, like, partner there. You want that, like, intimacy. And, like, that crave will always be there. And I would say that those moments, just feeling those emotions. If you feel like crying, crying. Um, writing something out, which I do which I feel like helps me out so much. Um, if I'm feeling like a certain emotion, I'm just like, let me just like write this out. And just the other day I was, um, I was reading some, cause I, I had, I, I date and time them. And I was reading through them and I was like, oh, like, that's so funny. Like, you know, oh, like I was feeling this way or like this happened. I'm reflecting back on yeah, it. Yeah, just reflecting yeah. back in it. And now it's like, now I can laugh at it. And I'm just gonna be like, oh, you know, like that's a really good point. Okay, so when it comes to those emotions, just like writing them out, feel them. But at the same time, like coming back and being like, all right, Focus on what you have control over, you know, which is yourself. What are improvements you want to make on yourself, you know? Um, Self-love is so important. Like, when it comes to love, like, love is a choice. Love is a practice. 
and it's like practice it on yourself and it's like it's so cliche it's like how could you love someone else if you don't love yourself but it's so true if like one day you know if you are looking to be in a relationship or um it's like okay you gotta also think like what am i going to bring into this partnership um i feel like it's very important to see things that you may need improvement on or you would want in a partner like practice it on yourself like practice it like you know be that kind person if you would want someone to be encouraging with you like you know share those words of encouragement with someone else and practice what you preach definitely i would i'd say that's definitely important you know keep working on yourself i feel like that's like the most important thing keep bettering yourself but when you have those like shitty days just like let them feel them out just just feel them out feel them out you know do what you have to do cry watch that movie or order that food to make yourself feel better but then afterwards like you know the next day clean yourself up and be like all right i would say the biggest thing is focus on the things that you have control over yeah lovely put if you're newly single let us know if you learned anything new from Yamie. And if you've been single for a while, leave down some tips for anyone else who might need it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks.